Hello, welcome to the channel. So I was uh, building a small application in uh, Cloudflare Workers and I was thinking what to put in front of the API that sends verification emails because I don't really want to uh, keep that API open uh, for their attacks uh, so everyone can just spam uh, requests to generate a verification code emails. And uh, I was looking for some kind of uh, rate limiting solution and I found that Cloudflare uh, actually has a support for rate limiting inside workers. Uh, it's currently in beta and there are some limitations that we're going to talk about. But I think it's kind of useful if you have a simple use case so you can already use that in your uh, small applications. So let's... Uh, go through the docs and let's create a small application that will use uh, a rate limit. So uh, here's the doc and uh, as you can see uh, it's marked as beta and uh, that's why when we go to creation of that resource in Cloudflare we have to use unsafe bindings because it's not stable uh, for now um, and yeah it's just like a new entry in these unsafe bindings. Uh, but the type that we're interested in is rate limit and then we can provide a simple configuration like this. Uh, so we already see some limitations uh, right here because the period uh, is in seconds and it could be just 10 or 60 seconds. So you have to select one of these two options to define your period. And then the limit is number of requests uh, that for each um, unique key uh, it's allowed in the rate limit so if you do more than 100 requests per key uh, during this 60 seconds period um, your next call to rate limit uh, will return uh, not successful status and also as that is um, a better uh, state uh, if we're using TypeScript we unfortunately have to use any type uh, for this env binding uh, because I believe there is no type uh, declared anywhere so far. But the code will be pretty simple, so uh, I'm not going to use any frameworks like Hono. I'll just, uh, even if you want to follow along, you just need to run npm uh, create Cloudflare uh, latest and pick the hello world uh, template uh, for the Cloudflare uh, workers. Um, after you do that, uh, you will have something like um, something like this generated. Uh, so you'll have a simple TOML file for the Wrangler, which is like a resource definition for uh, Cloudflare infrastructure. And it, it's also used to run a uh, test environment locally. Uh, and then we have an index.ts file. And here we have the entry point for our uh, fetch, uh, which is like implementation of our Cloud, Cloudflare worker logic. Um, so what we want to do is, uh, first of all, we want to go to our TOML file and um, go back to um, uh, to the doc and just grab this config. Uh, let's get this thing and put it right here. So now if I run npm run dev, uh, we'll see that we have a warning because we are now using the unsafe uh, experimental features. And uh, we have, uh, now our worker has access to following bindings, uh, rate limit, and this is the name of that. So uh, for your case, you probably want a better name like uh, rate limit uh, that's specified uh, specific to some use case. Like if we're going to build uh, rate limiting around email verification codes, I'll just call it email verification code um, rate limiter, something like that. So then we have type rate limiter and uh, this namespace ID, uh, as I understand it, is just a, a unique identifier uh, for your Cloudflare account for configuration for a rate limiter. So if you have multiple workers and you want to have uh, independent rate limiters, uh, you need to make sure that this number is unique here. Uh, so you can just start with something and just increment it. Uh, and at the end, we have simple config, uh, which we covered 
already, but it just contain uh, consists of two things. First is the, like, the limit that we allowed to do per individual key, and then we have a period that could be either 10 or 60 seconds. So now on um, our local host, uh, we have just hello world application, and we're going to add um, the rate limiter code from the doc. Uh, so we want this. And let's grab this thing and put it right here. So this is not defined and we want to fix it by adding uh, type any for this, any. Now it should be happy. If I reload, it's fine. But we have quite high uh, limits, so it will be hard to uh, test it. So let's say we want like five requests in uh, 10 seconds. And we can go back and try it once again. So yeah, I see. And after 10 seconds or so, we're back to success. And also if I go to a different path, we have success immediately. And uh, that's because we are using the pass name from the request URL. Uh, and the API here, as you can see, we just await on our rate limiter and we're calling the limit. And then we pass the key. And inside the key, it could be any string that you uh, decided to use as a unique uh, unique ID uh, or like unique key for the rate limiter. So the other thing I want to try is um, if you want to build a rate limiter and uh, that's for some page that's behind authentication, I think it's a bit simpler because in that case you can use something like custom ID or user ID, whatever you have as your key. Uh, but for things like, as I said, email verification codes, it literally uh, available to the outside so in that case, uh, I think the best we can do without too much uh, configuration is just to try to use uh, user IP. And uh, the way to get user IP in Cloudflare Worker is to use this header. It's called Cl CF for Cloudflare Connecting IP. I found that somewhere in Docs, um, and I hope that's correct. Uh, but yeah, I'm just fall back to unknown here because if you run it in local, uh, run it locally, this header is coming as nil. So I just want some string uh, to be here. Uh, but now we can replace this code, uh, and we want to replace this, and let's say for user IP. I just don't don't want to log that. Uh, let's uh, go to our app and try again. So it works, but I think we now have undefined uh, fallback, right, like this. But let's try uh, stop our app and we can do npm run deploy. That will deploy our actual um, worker to my account and we can try it in browser like in real application take a while so yeah here's the link uh, for the doc and if i go into here i call this and then i just refresh and we are now getting some rate limiting in Cloudflare Worker. So going back to docs, a uh, couple things you need to know. Uh, we already covered the configuration, but this is important. Uh, so the uh, rate limiting works on the based on location. Uh, so if your rate limiter is returning false in specific location, if the request lands on the different uh, Cloudflare location and you use the same key in the rate limiter, 
it will still return true. So they are kind of independent uh, by location. And um, the accuracy is um, obviously eventually consistent. So there could be race conditions when two requests will still come through. Uh, but eventually it will uh, update the internal cache and it will work. But yeah, it just, they mentioned here explicitly that you you cannot rely on rate limiting for uh, something accurate and like some accounting system. But that makes sense. Uh, we usually use the rate limiter for um, different purposes. And also performance. Uh, based on this doc, there is no network uh, latency required. So it's literally the same as calling a function inside inside Java co JavaScript code uh, without network call. So yeah, uh, still in better. So use at your own risk. But I think if I'm going to build something like uh, Lucia authentication with uh, email and password, which I'm going to do in one of the next videos. I think I'll use this solution to create at least some protection mechanism on the rate limiting uh, for the rate limiting on the public endpoint to generate emails. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more to come soon, and don't forget to subscribe uh, and comment. And also, there is also an option, always an option to support my channel on Buy Me A Coffee. And links are in description. Have a nice day. See you next video. Bye bye.